Now we're going to look at Shumatsu Dosa, uh, sorry, Katsute Mochi Shihonage Ni, okay, which is like Shumatsu Dosa Ni. Okay, so Ni technique, we're going to start on the left foot, Hidari Hani Kamai. Okay, we'd normally grab this wrist with the same side here and push. Okay, Ichi is pulling, Ni is pushing. As he pushes, we drop just slightly this hand, which pulls Uke okay, forward and we strike Min. In. As we turn our back foot, so we look this way, and we do a 180 degree turn, we're going to take hold of this wrist. So men, 180 turn, hand raise above our head. From here, just like Ichi, Kiriki no Yose ni, and as this back foot slides up, we cut our hands down. Okay, and to finish exactly the same as Ichi, we slide in and down and strike, okay? Now please understand I'm a little bit limited on space, so the bigger the movement, uh, the bigger you can make the movement, the better, because it will help with your sliding, okay, your shako practice. Okay, so let's try five times. Hidari hani kamae, hey, min, itch, e, sam, min, back, min, itch, e, Okay, it was a bit of a quick run through, I understand, but I also know we're limited on time. Um, but that just gives you something to work off. And remember, you don't need an uke to practice the shape of your waza. So please, at home, practice your kihondosa and practice your waza too, as best you can. Okay, so we're going to finish off now with a little stretch sequence, and then we're going to sit for five minutes. Okay? Okay, so in this position, come put down onto your knees, hands in front of you here, keeping your toes tucked in, we're just going to slide back, and now push your hands forward and stretch your back. Take three deep breaths, take three deep breaths in. Come up so your hands are underneath your shoulders. Okay, and as we drop the head, we're gonna raise and arch the back. And then as we raise the head, we're gonna lower the hips. So lower the head and raise the back. Raise the head and lower the hips. Three more times. Okay, now 
Now from here, having your toes tucked under, we're gonna extend the legs and we're gonna push your hips back as far as you can and just walk the feet, okay? So we're just getting some extension in the back of our legs here. Good, okay, now from here, bring your right leg forward, as far forward as you can, plant the back foot, and we're gonna raise the hands up. Keeping the front leg, front leg bent, here we're gonna open the chest, and then from here, if you can, extend that front leg. Really stretch. Good, got sweat in the eyes, I apologize. Okay, now from here, Okay, we're just gonna extend by bending the knee forward and opening our arms and our chest. I apologize if I've done this backwards to you, but if you open your chest, bring your arms out to the side, and now just gaze at your back thumb. Good, now bring your hands back to the front gonna drop down into a lunge. Feel that you open up your, your hip and your groin area. Now place the palms, if you can, on the floor. Okay, just drop this leg down, and now we're gonna sit back onto our hip. Nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, really try and relax into the stretch. Good, and then from here, put that leg back, push through, raising your hips again, walking those feet. And this time, bring the opposite leg as forward as you can, plant that back foot, and stretch up here, open the chest, and then extend through that front leg as well. Try to relax your face, try to relax your breathing. And from here, bending that front knee, we open up, opening up your chest, pulling your arms back, and then just turn your gaze to your back thumb. Good, and from there, turning, bringing your hands down to the front, drop into that lunge. Again, so you're opening up all this hip area here. Palm on the ground, drop this leg and sink into that hip. Remember, nice deep breaths. Try to relax into each stretch. Good, then from there, come back into this, what's called downward facing dog. Push your hips back, again, walking those feet. And then from here, you drop your knees, and now we're gonna, like we're licking the floor. And lick the floor. Please don't actually lick the floor. And make sure your shoulders are back and your chest is open. From there, tuck your toes under. Come back into that first position. Three deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Good. Okay. Now just come up, shake off, and we're now gonna sit for five minutes. Okay, so just sit comfortably however you like, whether it could be in Seiza or Agora, uh, cross legs. If you need a chair, uh, you can sit on a chair, anywhere that's comfortable, okay? Just make sure that your posture is nice and straight.
So yeah, mate. Thanks very much, guys, for joining me, and I hope to see you during the week. Um, I will get the videos up, and I will post a note on both Instagram and Facebook to let you know that the videos are on YouTube with a link underneath uh, to make it easy for you to find. Alright, thanks again everyone. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Os! Arigatou gozaimashita.